We're here today to install a Pixhawk flight controller on this Terret 650 Sport frame. We're going to do a quick overview of some of the components you'll find. I've already got these set up with tape, but here's the Pixhawk unit itself. We're using an FR Sky X8R receiver. The 3DR 900 megahertz telemetry radio. The I2C splitter. The buzzer. Safety button. And some other cables. I've already installed the power module on this frame, so we're not going to be covering that. But we will be covering the installation and connection of all the components required to get a Pixhawk in the air. So our first step is going to be to kind of decide where all your components are laid out. I've already built one of these frames, so I know where everything's going to go. Your frame might be different, so take some time and think about where everything's going to go and plan it. So my first, first step I'm going to take here after planning and deciding where everything's going to go is to install Pixhawk itself. And now I've already installed the included pads, the vibration damping pads here. Of your craft. You can see I've got the red motor nacelles here on the front. This is our front. You want to get it nice and square and straight. You don't want it crooked on the frame at all. Set it down. Compress that foam down. The next thing we're going to mount is our X8R receiver. I've, I'm using a longer S bus cable than what's included with the Pixhawk because of the location that I'm putting my receiver. Receiver on the left side here. Leave a little distance to the flight controller. And then this is going to go from the S bus port on the X8R receiver to the RC in on the Pixhawk. We're going to reshoot that as a close-up. Before I mount my telemetry radio, I'm going to take a six-pin cable. That's six-pin to six-pin. And just make sure that's seated all the way in there. You can see when it's seated, it'll be flush with the USB port on this side. Okay. So our telemetry radio is going to go on the bottom here. And we're going to plug that into the telemetry one port right there okay, the last thing we're going to install is this buzzer um, it allows the Pixhawk to sort of communicate with the pilot more easily here's the buzzer and it's nice. I just like installing it someplace where it's going to be out of the way. Water and stuff's not going to get to it, so I'll just stick it right in the frame plates there. Now we're going to connect the ESCs to the Pixhawk. I've already labeled my ESC connectors, motors one through four. One, two, three, and four. And you can see here prop one, two, three, four, and so on. So we're going to connect motor one. Motor two. One thing you want to make sure is that you've got the orientation of this connector correct. The white wire, which is the signal wire, it faces down. Three. What are you plugging that into? Okay. This is the power. This is a six-pin connector from the power module. This is going to the power port on the top of the Pixhawk. It's all hand, isn't it? Snap that in, make sure it's nice and flush. Next, we're going to connect the telemetry radio. I'm going to connect this to the Telem 1 port. Either Telem 1 or Telem 2 works, depending on what you're doing with it. Next, we're going to plug our buzzer in to the buzzer port.
You can see here I've pre-mounted the GPS and I've already drilled a hole to install the safety button. So there's two, two connections on the, on the GPS. One is for the compass and one is for the GPS itself. So the GPS is a six pin. We're going to plug that into the GPS port. The four pin, which is for the compass, that's going to plug into the I2C port. And then there's another a three pin, which is for the safety switch. We're going to plug that into the switch port on the top of the Pixhawk. This port here that's labeled power, that's a six pin port that connects to the power module that feeds the Pixhawk five volts. It also gives the Pixhawk information about battery voltage and the amount of amperage being drawn from the battery. This is the I2C port. This is currently connected directly to the compass. There are other I2C sensors available. This is the GPS port that connects to the GPS. Telemetry 1 and Telemetry 2. The Telemetry 1 port we're currently using for the telemetry radio. A telemetry 2 can be used for an on-screen display or other, any other telemetry application. The switch port, this is for the safety switch on top of the body. The buzzer, that's for the buzzer. And then Prop 1, Prop 2, Prop 3, and Prop 4 are for motors 1 through 4, respectively. RC in, that's the RC input signals, either via SBUS or PPM input. Okay. That's it.